Since the 1957 launch of Sputnik caught America's leaders by surprise, there have been constant efforts to improve America's education system. Yet despite a quadrupling of education spending in real terms since 1960, there is little evidence of improvement. The U.S. was the best in the world in educating its population, but today it has below average secondary school completion rates among the developed world. More importantly, achievement of U.S. students is not competitive internationally, contributing to lower long-run economic growth. What happened? We've been spending the money in areas that do not drive improvement in student outcomes, like reducing class sizes and increasing teacher salaries, regardless of teacher effectiveness. How money is spent is more important than how much is spent. Consistently good teachers can yield tremendous dividends for students. Good teachers can produce an entire year's worth of additional learning out of their students compared to bad teachers, even in the most disadvantaged neighborhood schools. And a teacher who raises the achievement of a student also raises the student's earnings throughout his or her work life. Regardless of class size, facilities, standards, and curriculum, no factor makes a greater difference to education outcomes than high-quality teachers. Therefore, education policy should put a much higher priority on producing, rewarding, and retaining good teachers.